I can remember when I first started shrimping. There were about 80 boats in Shim Creek then, and before then there was even more than that. We used to race each other. I mean, we did all kind of crazy stuff when we were young. There's not many of us left anymore. There's about seven of us left here on the creek now, and it's different. I oversee the process of the shrimp, uh, the production, the heading, um, the orders, what I do to put food on the table. It's a revolving door when it comes to this kind of business, when it comes to help. Now it's hard. We don't see people come down wanting to go at all. The money's not there that used to be here. It has impacted us by we work a lot harder physically now. We want to bring the best product possible from the sea to the table. I'm the president of the Shrimpers Association and you know we're bringing awareness, things like that, to people about the imported products. Well what it does is uh, when we have like a freezer boat like the Carolina Breeze and we catch a bunch of shrimp and we try to offload the shrimp, it drives the price way down. I think last time we offloaded it was like $1.35 for 13, 15 count jumbo shrimp and that's pennies on the dollar. If you go eat, eat at a restaurant that has an imported shrimp, you don't know where it's came from, what, how long it's been frozen. When you go out to eat, it never hurts to ask, where did your shrimp or where did your seafood come from? I mean, they can sh freeze shrimp up to three to five years. I think if we could work on getting some more knowledge out um, onto what buying an imported shrimp will do to people like us. You know, don't let uh, people eat imported shrimp, just eat fresh, wild-caught American shrimp, because you're supporting an American family somewhere, and we're all family people. One of my main goals is to treat people like family. I don't want to treat somebody like a transaction. I want them to feel at home. I want them to feel welcome. I have a five-year-old son at home, so, <laughs> you know, it's uh, with me and my wife and my son, it's, it's been tough for us to hold on this long, but it's a part of my life that I can't let go. Right now, it's very dim you know, but there's hope that it's gonna come back around.